Melba Patillo Beals, a member of the Little Rock Nine, was born on December 7, 1941, in Little Rock, Arkansas. Beals grew up with two parents who valued her education deeply, and her mother was one of the first black graduates of the University of Arkansas, and then went on to work as an English teacher. By the time she was four years old, Beals began noticing the disparities between white and black Americans, asking her mother and grandmother why colored was written on ugly drinking fountains, dingy restrooms, and the backs of buses. When Beals was 12, the Supreme Court ruled in Brown v. Board of Education that separate schooling for black and white people was illegal. At the age of 15, in the year 1956, Beals chose to enroll at Central High School. However, the governor of Arkansas used National Guard troops to block the black student's entry. Upon her arrival, Beals, along with the other eight black students, were met with angry, violent protesters shouting slurs. After another year, Central High School opened on an integrated basis. On her first day, Beals was met with an inordinate amount of hatred and violence, such as being slapped and spat on. Throughout the entirety of the year, Beals was harassed on a daily basis by white students. After finally completing a year at Central High, Beals flew to Chicago to receive the Robert S. Abbott Award conferred by the Chicago Defender newspaper. In Cleveland, Beals received the NAACP's highest honor, the Springarn Medal. By September of 1959, NAACP officials sent an announcement to chapters across the country asking for families to volunteer to give members of the Little Rock Nine a safe space to stay and support in their education. Melba soon moved to California and stayed with Dr. George McCabe, a professor at San Francisco State University. Beals went on to graduate from San Francisco State University with a BA in journalism and earned an MA in the same field from Columbia's Graduate School of Journalism in New York. After graduating, Beals went on to work as a communications consultant, a motivational speaker, and as a reporter for San Francisco's public television station. In 1994, Melba Patello Beals was the first of the Little Rock Nine to publish a book about her experiences at Central High. The book was named the American Library Association's Notable Book for 1995 and won the Robert F. Kennedy Book Award that same year. In 1999, President Bill Clinton presented the nation's highest civilian award, the Congressional Gold Medal, to the members of Little Rock Nine. Beals lives in the San Francisco area and works as an author and public speaker. In 2018, she published two books, I Will Not Fear, My Story of a Lifetime of Building Faith Under Fire, and March Forward Girl, From Young Warrior to Little Rock Nine.